Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about base defense. Um, now, if the aliens are sending ships to attack you, um, you'll notice that you can set up you know, various base defenses such as the torpedo defenses and sonic and gorse and PWT defenses, etc. And you know, even bombardment shields and shit like that. Now, they're not really, they're, they're shit. In fact, they're really crap. Uh, I don't even bother building them ever again. The reason is for this. If you factor in the maintenance cost for each of them, and the fact that aliens may not even attack, um, and the fact that they're not 100% successful, um, it's it's really not worth it. So what I like to do is I like to put, you know, a, a squadron of aquanauts per base um, to defend instead. Now, of course, with this squadron, you know, you have to give them a couple of weapons, so I'll just give them some leftovers, uh, a couple of cannons each, a couple of grenades, and hand-to-hand -hand weapons, and, and of course, um, give them some some armor as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be the most expensive armor, just whatever. Just iron armor's fine. Um, now, the big difference is this. When the aliens are attacking your base, um, let's just say you have your torpedo defenses set up. Let's just say you successfully fend off against them. What's going to happen is they're going to keep sending ships over and over again. And you're going to go into that annoying little base defense screen and um, it's, it's going to be an endless cycle and it's going to waste so much time and it's going to get you frustrated and it's not going to really let you play the game. Um, and of course, you can't, you know, loot their crap that they drop at the end of the mission, and give you more money as a result. Um, this way, if you just have guards in each base, right, they'll send a ship to attack you, and let's just say you successfully defend it with your aquanauts, with your guards, they'll stop sending ships at you for a, for a while, compared to you know them sending ships over and over again. Not to mention, the loot that you collect will pay back for these aquanauts anyway, uh, and their salaries. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, have guards, don't build static defenses. Um, you know, at most, maybe you can build an MC generator to conceal your base a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, use guards. It's cheaper, it's safer, um, and it's more convenient because it, it actually will stop them from attacking. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about base defense. Um, now, the aliens don't usually attack that much, but when they do, um, you do want to be prepared because, and you do want to give yourself an advantage as much as possible, uh, because when they do, it is hard, and of course, you do risk um, losing your base and everything that's in it. So, um, the best thing you can do before they even come is to have a good base layout. Uh, and the way you do that is you isolate your sub pens and your airlock from all your other normal buildings. And the reason for that is um, the aliens normally come in through the airlocks and sub and sub pens. Um, they can appear in these normal buildings down here, but it's you know, not as common, um, and they usually you know, really jam packed in in the airlock and the sub pens. Um, so yeah, basically this is the way you want to lay it out, and this is the way I've done it for all my other bases. Um, for my first base here, my HQ, um, the reason why my airlock's here instead of like around here by default is because I'm using a mod. Um, I believe it's called like Blade Fire Rod or something, where my initial starting base starts off similar to what it is as you've seen here. Um, you know, if you use the standard one where your airlock's in the middle and you've got a sub pen on, you know, up here, bottom left, bottom right, all you have to do is just sell the bottom left, bottom right one and then put up two new sub pens at the top and then it'll be pretty similar except your airlock will be in the middle here. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it for base defense. Um, you want to be prepared and you want to have a good base layout. Um, obviously, these squares here are blank uh, and, you know, in terms of space, it's you know not good because you can't put other buildings there. But um, I find I've I've always had just enough space in my HQ 
and all my other bases, you know, subsequently. Um, just got to kind of spread everything out a little bit more um, you know, and specialize your bases, which I'll talk about a bit later. Um, but yeah, for now, base defense, this is the way you want to be.